I have a React Native application here that's running React Navigation v3. And this navigator, or this application, basically touches every navigator that React Navigation has. And you can just go ahead and click through it and view the various things inside of it. What I want to do in this video is just upgrade React Navigation. To do this, what we'll do is go to our terminal. I'll clear out the output there. Then I'll go ahead and say yarn add React Navigation. And it's important to note I'm upgrading to React Navigation v4 here. If there's a v5 or later, these instructions may not be applicable. I'm then going to go ahead and add React Navigation stack at version 1.7.3. React Navigation Tabs at 1.2.0 and React Navigation Drawer at v1.4.0. Now as that's installing and showing me that I've got an error, I need to go ahead and actually choose the correct version. That's 1.4.0. Uh, the reason that we specified the versions here is because we want as seamless of an upgrade as possible from React Navigation v3 and by using the versions that I specified there, there's really not much change we have to do or there's not much change in how things work by using those versions. Uh, that way we can minimize any changes we have to do. And the reason React Navigation was split up into multiple packages in version 4 was so that the stack navigator, the drawer, the tab, these can all be updated independently without requiring a breaking change in React Navigation when in reality it's just a single navigator that has a breaking change. So with these packages installed, all we have to do is go to wherever we're using React Navigation. In this case, we're just using it in this one file and update our imports. So you can see here this error that's showing up already. Create Stack Navigator has been moved. So we'll go ahead and remove that from our React Navigation import. And we'll go ahead and say import, create Stack Navigator from React Navigation Stack. And we'll do the th same thing for our Tab Navigator. and our drawer navigator. Now if we refresh the application, it should work as it did before. We just went ahead and changed those updates. Now obviously we don't want to be locked down to these versions of React Native stack, tabs, and drawer. We want to be able to upgrade going forward as well. And with that, there are some breaking changes that come alongside of this. So We'll go back to our terminal. We're going to go ahead and say yarn add react native reanimated. We're going to pull the latest version of that in. We also want to grab react native gesture handler, latest version of that, and react native screens. Now while that's installing, if you're coming from React Navigation v3 and you had it successfully running on iOS and Android, if you go into your main activity.java, you should already have this RN gesture handler set up. If you don't, you'll need to do that. That's covered in the React Navigation installation instructions. So once that's done, going back to our terminal, we can go ahead and add the latest versions of React Navigation stack, React Navigation tabs, and React Navigation drawer. Now with these latest versions, you'll see we're going to run into problems here because there are native changes. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit the application over here, open up the terminal window, and kill the actual React Native Packager. Now since we've got those updated native dependencies and I'm running React Na Native version 60 or above, I'm going to have to go and cd into the iOS directory, do a pod install to pull in all of those native dependencies. If you only care about Android, you don't have to do this. Uh, Android's going to automatically link everything for you. And now with that done, we can go ahead and say React Native run iOS or React Native run Android once again. And before you do that, make sure you to you CD out of that iOS directory. Now React Native run iOS. And with that, you're all set with the latest version of React Navigation, and you can upgrade these different navigators independently of the overall React Navigation core library.